This video covers the integrating essential skills category, including perimeter and area of a rectangle. So when we're talking about perimeter, we are talking about the distance around a figure. So you can think about the perimeter of a yard. If you're talking about putting a fence around a yard, that would be the perimeter. So specifically though, when we're talking about circles, when we're talking about perimeter going around a circle, that is circumference. And we'll talk about circumference later in another video. So here we're talking about shapes that will use the term perimeter around the figure. You're gonna need the lengths of the sides to calculate this distance of perimeter. So here's an example. If we have a rectangular figure and we're given the width and the length W and L, then to find the perimeter, it's equal to, we're gonna add up each of those side lengths. So we'll have, end up with two L plus two W. That is the perimeter of a rectangle. So here we have another figure, an irregular shaped figure. And again, all we have to do though, if we, if we are given the side lengths, we can just add up the lengths of each side and we'll find the perimeter of that figure. Here's a triangle. Again, we're just gonna add up the lengths of the three sides of the triangle. So this is for closed figures, and we'll just add up the lengths. Now let's talk about area. So when we're talking about the area and we're gonna talk about a rectangle, we're gonna talk about the area inside. So think about if you have a room and you have carpet on the floor. We're gonna be talking about the carpet that's covering the area of that floor, the inside there. So that's area. And when we're looking at a rectangle, let's just remember that a rectangle is a quadrilateral. So quad meaning four, four-sided. That is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel with all four angles equal to 90 degrees. That's a rectangle. So when we're looking at the area of a rectangle, we want to determine how much space is within that rectangle. We're given a side length L and a side width W. So we're going to use the formula Area of a rectangle equals length times width, L times W. Now let's take a look at an ACT type example. Work this problem and come back and we'll work it together. So here we're given that the top surface of a rectangular table has an area of 80 square feet and a width of five feet. What is the length in feet of the surface? Also remember in problems like this, we want to be aware of our units. It's all, all the units here are in feet. A lot of times they don't mix up units, but they could. So just take a glance, make sure your, your units are good, and they are. So what we're given is a rectangular table. So we know we're talking about a rectangle. They give us the area and they give us the width. Well, remember the formula we have is that area equals length times width. So we can substitute in 80 for the area, and we are also given the width, so we can plug in five for W, and we're given, now we have 80 equals five L. So we'll solve for L, 80 divided by five, and we get a length of 16. So the important point on this question is be prepared. You could solve area just straight up with length or width, but sometimes we're given values of area and we have to solve for one of the other dimensions. So make sure you know how to utilize our formula of A equals L times W.